Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be turning this material here, which is bismuth ore, into this, which is bismuth crystals. I did not make this one, this is one I got at a rock show a couple years ago, but this ore here is what makes them. Now these crystals are relatively easy to make at home because this material here, bismuth ore, uh, has a really low melting point. Um, I want to say about 530 degrees. I'll put the right number up there in a minute. So you can make it on your stove at home. We're going to be using a propane setup outside because I am clumsy and I don't want to get molten metal all over my kitchen. Um, but this will be just as good, if not better. If you do do this yourself, be careful. Do your research on how to do it. Don't take my video as just the how-to. Um, watch other videos, read up on it. Um, know what you're doing and do it safely. But we've got safety glasses because you don't want metal in your eye. We've got a stainless steel pot that I got at the food store um, because it will never be used for food again, so don't use your good cookware. A um, couple of forks, also never going to be used for food again. Um, we just actually replaced our forks and knives, so good timing on that. These are old ones. And then leather gloves, which I don't have here. I need to go find those. And then I also have an old cookie sheet to put our crystals on once we pull them out of the pot. Um, also, not going to be used for food ever again. So. so I went with eight pounds of bismuth to start off with, and it actually is not very much. I wasn't sure how much I was going to get because I knew it was a dense metal, but it's super dense. So this is eight pounds of bismuth right here fit almost in my hand. For context, this is eight pounds of agates and flint. Um, a big difference in the amount of material you're getting. So this is a lot heavier for its size. So we're just gonna put our chunks in here. I don't think we're gonna get very much out of this because we only have those eight pounds. I think if we do it again, I'm gonna get probably at least 15 or 20 pounds. Um, but the good thing is we can remelt whatever doesn't look good today. So when we do it again, we can still reuse this. But I want to play around, see what we can get out of it, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh-oh. All right, it's already starting to melt down there in the corner. It's so cool. While I'm over here melting metal, Alex is over there brewing beer, making an Oktoberfest. It's getting real close. It is all melted, so we gotta scoop up the impurities and start getting some crystals out of it. Pretty concoction. Those colors from the oxidization. Very cool. 
There's a couple of little spots where I think crystals are starting to form, but I don't want to move them yet, just in case. All right, we've got one at least. All right, we got a couple so far. They're looking good. Let's see if I can get more out of here. I'm gonna have to melt it in a second. Forbidden treats. Um, so forks are kind of hard to use. I don't know what the best tool to be used would be, but um, yeah, they're uh, they've accumulated quite a bit. But I will say they've got some really cool crystal structures on them. Not so much the back, but this one especially. All those little cubes. That's so cool. All right, so just got a little bit left in the middle. You can kind of see all these little crystals in there. I think we're going to melt it again. Let's see if we can get some more out of it. Let me see what, if I have a better tool for this to get them out. All right, well, that's remelting. Let's look at the pieces we did pull out of that first batch. We got this really nice little guy here. Look how cool that is. This one, some nice stair stubbies. These all came out like really blue. That's another nice guy. This one's got some cool stuff going on that side. This bottom's kind of boring, but that's all right. It's a little tiny one, but really nice. I like these two little cubes on the back of them. And then this one. There's some more little cubies on the back of him. He, I might remelt. I'm gonna remelt him. I don't like him that much. All right, we took it off the heat for the second time, so now we need to just wait for it to do its thing. I think the trick is going to be to keep it from crystallizing along the edges.
All right, guys, these are our final bismuth pieces. Um, this was the first one we pulled out and it actually ended up being the best one. I think I gave it a little bit more time than the others, but uh, it's just so cool. Um, this little square I'm probably gonna remelt, but it just, it made itself a little perfect square. Like, how cool is that? Some of these are a little bit on the flat side. That's okay. Still really neat crystal structure. Um, I really like this one because it's got like a half a perfect cube. I just think that's so cool. So that goes kind of black. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I, uh, I'll probably have a couple of these up in my Etsy store. So if you're interested, um, feel free to check that out. There'll be a link in the description below. And uh, you can get one of these little guys for yourself. All right, guys, I think that's everything. This ended up being so much fun. I'm definitely gonna be doing this again. So uh, stay tuned for a, uh, a part two at some point. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day.